what is going on today? Welcome to another episode of Stay Smooth Shaving with your boy D Smooth. And yes, the beard has vanished from my face. And it's okay because it was starting to itch. And yeah, I'm, I'm a clean shaven kind of guy. <clears throat> Sunday fun day coming to you live and direct like we always do here at the Shave Studios. But here we go. Now, first I want to say... Hope everyone has a good day and had a great shave. But we're going to do a soap that I have tried twice in the past. And they were failures both times. Now, it wasn't the fault of the soap maker. The soap was excellent, if I can remember. But the ingredients in there burned my face, irritated my skin, that was really early in the stages of me first starting to wet shave, not knowing what my face can take, what irritated it, now I know. So, it's a good point and a good tip for new wet shavers out there, that if you try to soap and irritate your skin, give it another chance with a less aggressive scent, um, something with um, little Fragrance, to, fragrance oils or essential oils. I forgot the ratio of what it was. I talked to uh, Amanda from Tiki. I emailed her about the problem with it. And she said most of her citrus style scents are very strong. And those are the ones that irritated my skin. Which was really upsetting because I had the uh, Set Sail. Or I had the Go West. One of the two. Or Landlocked. Landlocked is the one I had. And that smelled excellent. And another one I had was a tallow-based soap that smelled excellent as well. But I decided to give another shot. Today is Tiki Bar Soap. Surf's up, dude. And me, being a Californian, I do surf when I get the chance to. Well, I did mostly in my 20s. Big fan of the beach from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Now, I gotta tell you, the scent is refreshing. It's, cl it's not a classic scent, but it's refreshing. It reminds me of some kind of lotion or something to that nature. But it, it's just a modern twist of sea kelp, ozone, ocean water, and a light floral notes anchored with the base of oak moss. And you get that. You get the seaweed, you get the oak moss, you get the ozone. I love like natural type scents like that, especially seawater, salt water, stuff like that. Very different smelling from the beach. Now, I got to tell you, people. I was not going to give Tiki another chance. But I'm so glad I did. Because before, I really couldn't assess and dissect the soap. Because I was so worried about my face burning. So, my, the, the, the whole experience was just ruined. Ruined. So, I just wrote off Tiki. But I kept seeing a lot of people saying, Man, Tiki's great. Tiki's this. Tiki's that. I'm going... Man, I need to try it again. And I'm so glad I did. So glad. Now, Tiki, I got this from Phoenix Artisan Akutram. This is their vegan style. And I am a tallow kind of guy. So when a vegan soap can impress me, I'm thoroughly impressed. This one was $14 for four ounces. I think that's a great deal. Um, but the performance of this blew my mind. I had no preconceived... Um, thoughts of what this soap was going to do because I didn't want to put that in my head. I didn't say it was going to suck. I didn't say it was going to be great. I just was going to go for the experience. And boy, did it ever. The soap performed beautifully. It's a softer style soap. I mean, the slickness and how fast this thing just poofed up in my plasson today, this morning was amazing. Two or three swirls, there was bubbles everywhere. And the good bubbles, not that pre-lather nonsense. I'm jacked. I'm jacked on this soap, especially this scent. It did not burn my face. Thank you, Amanda, for taking the time out to answer my questions um, <clears throat> about sensitive skin and what I should look for and what I should stay away from. She gave me some great recommendations. This wasn't one of her recommendations, but I decided to pull the trigger because I'm okay with whatever's in here. The oak moss doesn't affect me. 
Um, what affected me was the citrus oils for some reason. High doses of citrus oils, just a little tip if you got sensitive skin, may tend to affect you. But the performance of this was out of this world. So I'm going to rate it as follows. <clears throat> slickness was excellent. I'm going to give it a 9.7 on slickness. This thoroughly amazed me. And I just realized that they do have a triple butter formula that I want to get badly. I'm mesmerized by this coke and butter formulas. And they're beginning to be my better style that I prefer. So slickness, 9.7 cushion. Great, me great cushion. I'm gonna give a 9.7 as well not on cushion. Poche face fill, man, it was right up there. I'm gonna give it a 9.6. The scent, it's good, but it's not great. What I mean by that is it's a unique scent and it doesn't, it's not gonna wow you. It's just unique. And if you're a surfer, if you, if you like that, that seawater, salty air, kelp ozone kind of lotiony scent you're gonna like it so i'm gonna give the scent a 9.5 scent strengths is about a 5.5 so surfs up dudes i'm gonna give it a 9.6 back from the ashes tiki bar soap has made it i believe in my top 10 Oh yes, it has jumped up. My shave was so smooth, so silky. It was unbelievable. Now I did not pair this with a aftershave. I just put some witch hazel and an unscented aftershave balm on there for a reason. I paired it with an EDT, Salvatore Ferragamo. The Ferragamo, that's right. Ferragamo, the subtle. Now this is a manly marine scent. Man, and it pairs so well with the Surf's Up. And this is totally a coincidence because I've had this for a while. Now this one's 32 bucks for 3.4 ounces. And I know a lot of people don't want to get into EDTs, but if you do and you want something that's gonna go with like ozone types or marine scents, go get you some Ferragamo. That's right. Subtle. It's a manly marine scent. Oh yeah. Ferragamo. So there you go. I got my EDTs up here. Just waiting to be used. Ah, I'm getting the whiff of Ferragamo right now. Whoa, easy there, partner. Oh yeah. It just complements it well. It's not a ringer to each. It's just it complements it very well. So that is the show today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so happy to be clean shaved again. So there you go. <clears throat> Thank you for tuning in. So respect yourself, respect the day, respect others. Until next time, you stay smooth.